Back to Morning Live right here on SABC News. Now, the Strauss & Company catalogue provides the best in South African artwork, headlining international arts in a unique way. Now, all of which are coming up at the Vineyard Hotel in Newlands Cape Town auction. And senior art specialist, that's Emma Bedford, joins us from our Seapoint studios to talk to us about the auction. Emma, a very warm good morning to you and uh, welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. It's lovely to be with you. Absolutely. Now, let's start off with the auction. What is the aim of the auction that I understand is taking place on Monday? Well, Strauss & Company is presenting an auction of uh, top South African art. Uh, it includes some international works as well, um, as well as a range of furniture, decorative arts, including beautiful pieces of silver, uh, from early Cape days, early Cape silver, uh, international, European, English silver as well, um, Japanese Netskis, which are very rare. So we have a wide range of top quality items um, on view uh, for the day. Today, still, you, uh, people can come to the Vineyard Hotel and view the exhibition. And then on Monday, we'll be auctioning these. Uh, to the public and that includes South Africans who will be bidding on many of these items as well as people bidding from around the world. There's great interest in this auction. Now in your experience Emma would you say that South African art is you know sought after by collectors both locally and internationally? Absolutely, that's right. You know, in 25 years at the National Gallery, I've seen the increase in interest, phenomenal increase in interest in South African art. And um, so it's very exciting now to be in a market situation with Strauss and Company and witnessing how much interest there is. I can give you an idea. Last year, our turnover exceeded 200 million rand. And that is mostly South Africans, some international people as well, buying mostly South African art. Wow. And can you tell us, you know, what is the worth of each artwork? Well, my job is to value artworks, yes. So I um, look at a work of art, I assess it, I see what something similar has sold for recently in the, in the various markets, and um, I then put a value on it. And if people are happy to consign it to auction, uh, we then offer it on our next auction. And we do a beautiful catalogue, we do an amazing exhibition where people can come and view works, and um, we then set up the auction and um, which enables people either to come into the room and bid or um, to bid on the phones from wherever. We have bidders from London, New York, Dubai, Washington, um, vying for the beautiful things that we offer. Now, speaking of those bidders and collectors, and also as a senior art specialist, Emma, I need to pick your brain for a moment. Now, which treasures of the historic Verkhaligen uh, estate in Somerset West formerly belonged to Randlord Sir Lionel and Lady Phillips, can you say? Well, the, the top lot is an armoire. I can show you it's on the back of our catalogue. Um, and it is a superb piece. Um, 18th century, um, it's, quite, it's large, it's imposing, and it's a beautiful piece to have in your home if, uh, if that's what you're looking for. Interesting. Now, I'm actually looking at it. It looks very, very beautiful. But I understand that there's also a well-known art expert all the way from the UK who will be conducting free evaluations. Please tell me more about that. Well, we have Dendi Easton um, at the Vineyard Hotel. He has been with Sotheby's for in London um, for 30 years. And he's also been part of the BBC Antiques Roadshow. And he's come out here to join us um, for the weekend and the auction. And um, he is available to provide valuations, uh, particularly on English 
European um, international art. Um, for those people who'd like valuations on South African art, we're always available. You can contact us at Strauss and & Company and we'd love to see your pieces and uh, give you an idea of what the value is. That sounds exciting, exciting indeed. Now Emma, let's talk about you know other South African and uh, international artworks that will also be auctioned. You mentioned some which will be uh, Chinese um, artworks which will be available, but what other international and local artworks can we expect? Um, well, we have a wide range of South African art. Um, there's a, the superb cover piece, which is um, a, a painting by um, Robert Hodgins, and it's called Bad Man with Great Threads. Um, <laughs> sort of gives you an idea of Robert's great sense of humour. He's a much celebrated South African artist, and we have a few of his works. Um, we also have some incredible works, quite a wide range of works by William Kentridge, who's being celebrated around the world as you know, one of the world's leading uh, contemporary artists. But going back in time a bit, we have a beautiful early Piernif. It's a very rare work made in a difficult and unusual medium, but it shows what, you know, how much of a master of that medium he was. We have lovely Cape Impressionist paintings by Hugo Nordi. We have a stunning painting by Walter Battis, um, which was very much influenced by his research into rock art, rock paintings and rock engravings. And it's interesting to see how that knowledge of really a almost prehistoric indigenous South African art has helped to develop contemporary art. And the we, top lot in yeah. the auction um, is a, a unique drawing by Marc Chagall uh, with a lovely story attached to it. Um, comes with a book about a restaurant that um, he dedicated this work to. That's amazing. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. But before we let you go, we already know that uh, you know it, the event is happening at the Vineyard Hotel in Newlands, Cape Town. But can you tell us how long it will be running for and um, are there tickets that are being sold? It's absolutely free. Um, the auction runs only for one day, Monday. Um, you can find information on our website. That's www.strassart.co.za. And uh, the auction is divided into sessions. If you're interested in the furniture and the, the ceramics and the silver work, come in the mornings at 11 and 2. If you're interested in the paintings, 5 o'clock for more affordable work and 8 o'clock for the top lots. Emma, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All righty then.